Hey, how you doing? This is Arth Wu. And after posting my review of the Steadicam Merlin 2, I had a lot of people asking me to do a video about how to set it up to get it balanced and everything. So that's what I'm gonna cover today. But before we get started, the first thing I want to point out is that if you bought a Merlin 2, it does come with an instructional DVD and a manual. So watch it and read the manual. It'll probably answer 90% of your questions. They tell you exactly how to set it up, even if your camera isn't in their online cookbook guide. But for those of you who just want the settings to get started quickly for DSLR use, I'm making this video for you to get up and running as quickly as possible. So I'm just gonna give you the settings I use, and uh, the way I figured this, this out was basically watching the DVD, YouTube videos, blogs, and a lot of trial and error basically to figure out the specific settings for my camera setup. So first off, I don't directly connect the camera to the dovetail plate. I use a Manfrotto RC4 attached to the dovetail plate because Many times I'm the only shooter on location and I need to quickly move my camera from the Merlin to a tripod to a shoulder rig and so on. So I'm using a Canon 5D Mark III with a Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter lens at the 16 millimeter end. So if you're using anything other than a DSLR, your, your settings will slightly change because each camera weighs differently, but this should get you most of the way there. So here are my settings. The dovetail plate connects to the actual Merlin body uh, at around 1.25, or they call it minus 1.25. The gimbal shows uh, three threads here, and the length is 13.5 inches. One weight in the front, uh, one half weight, two, three full weights at the bottom, two half weights, uh, and that's, that's, bas that's basically it. And then the fore and the aft and the side to side trim are set uh, based on what you need. So you can measure this however you want. I've seen it done several different ways, either from top to bottom here or diagonally. As long as you're consistent with it, you'll be able to set it up the same way each single time. So the next step I have for you is write, your, write down your settings because when you break your Merlin back down into your bag and you're changing cameras and so on and so forth, you wanna know exactly where the dovetail plate was sitting as well as how long the arms are away from each other so you know you can set it up quickly again. Um, especially useful for if you're switching cameras on and off and you don't want to have to reset it over and over. Uh, it might get a little frustrating to have to, to, to do it all again. So what I do is I put it on a 3x5 car, put all my settings there, so when I take it out, I'm ready to go. Another tip regarding the balance. So the guys at Steadicam recommend having a full second of drop time, meaning when you put the unit on its side, it takes about one second for it to fall vertically like this. So I have it about a second and I follow this method and it works great for me. So the Steadicam Merlin takes consistent practice to get in balance and to master. So while I don't really consider myself a master, I'm always critical of my own work and try to get it to look as good as uh, possible. Um, so this led me to spend countless hours practicing using the stabilizing units and going online and researching and so on. So there are actually classes and DVDs dedicated to learning the fine art of being a Steadicam operator. So if you're a solo shooter and you don't have access or budget to hire a Steadicam operator, you need to put in the time and effort to learn the tool. So for complex shots, considering hire a Steadicam, hiring a Steadicam operator, so it'll be well worth the money uh, just to not fiddle with the whole thing and, and um, you know, try to get it yourself when you have someone who's totally capable of doing it for you. So that wraps up the mini tutorial. If you have any questions, post them below. This is Arthur from ArthurWu.com. And um, we're gonna go around and do some test shots right now. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this and um, enjoy the settings. Peace.